In a Shanghai case, a plaintiff invested 101,700 US dollars in the defendant in 2021, who led a team dedicated to earning cryptocurrency rewards in an unnamed P2E game. During the 2022 market crash, the defendant sold the cryptocurrencies held in the defendant's team's game accounts without informing the plaintiff, pocketing 110,000 won in profits. The Shanghai court ruled that the initial 700,000 yuan investment was not legally protected, but the defendant was ordered to return the 110,000 yuan profit to the plaintiff as property lost due to misuse. All cryptocurrency-related investments and derivatives are not legally protected under Chinese regulations. In December 2022, the Supreme Court's People's Court publishing a guiding case where a court in Shenzhen ruled that transactions between cryptocurrencies and fiat are not permitted. Genesis Global Trading laid off more employees on Thursday. A person familiar with the matter said Genesis eliminated about 30% of its workers, taking it down to 145 employees. Genesis previously cut 20% of its workforce of 260 in August. The sales and business development departments have been especially hard hit, the person added. The layoffs come after the company sent a letter to its clients on Wednesday saying it would be reducing costs and uh, driving efficiencies during a challenging climate for crypto firms. Genesis, a subsidiary of crypto conglomerate Digital Currency Group, has been harmed by the widespread market collapse resulting from failure of Sam bankman frieds FTX exchange. Digital Currency Group, the cryptocurrency conglomerate whose Genesis Global Trading Division just announced more layoffs, said it's shutting down a wealth management division called HQ. Due to the state of the broader economic environment and prolonged crypto winter presenting significant headwinds to the industry, we made the decision to wind down HQ as of Jan 31st, the company said in a statement on Thursday. We're proud of the work that the team has done and look forward to potentially revisiting the project in the future. The information reported on the closure earlier, saying the business had more than $3.5 billion of asset under management. That's all in this bulletin for now. Keep watching 3.0 TV.